This is malt, also known as malt man, or malted milk bowl, or malted milkshake. He loves to play. This is actually his second favorite toy after he accidentally broke his first one the other day. So we're still getting acclimated to this. But what you'll see is that he'll engage and then disengage. He likes to hide behind me a lot. Oh, good boy. And what we're trying to do with this interactive play is obviously trying to get him an energy outlet. So he does have a lot of energy. He so really likes to play. This is his biggest form of enrichment that we have for him. But the big thing with this is making sure that it's as realistic as possible. So I want to try and emulate the prey and do things that an actual prey animal would do and avoid things that they wouldn't do. You'll be able to see he gets a little bit more interested as it's flying through the air as opposed to on the ground. I don't want to exclusively only flip this through the air. I want to do both. But I want to make sure that I'm doing things, again, that an actual prey animal would do. Move around the room, explore, go on top of things, underneath things. And I want to try to be realistic. I don't want to do things like move towards the cat at all, or at least try to keep that to a minimum because a mouse or bird isn't going to actually move towards the cat. They're not gonna climb on top of the cat. They're not gonna pop them on the head or anything like that. So that really takes the cat out of the game if you do that. And I also wanna move it away from him when he tries to go after it. Because again, a mouse, a bird, isn't gonna just sit there and let him just pounce on them. But at the same time, I don't want to make it too difficult to where he's not engaged at all. There you go. So I do want to let him get it. But then move him away because not every hunt is successful. And this keeps the game going. Then as he catches it, move it around a little bit again to give some realism. And then when we're done, I want to make sure I close the prey sequence, the hunting sequence, and we're going to end with a treat. I usually just give him some baby food on the floor, and then he'll eat that. And as he's eating, we'll leave. He won't even notice that I've gone. So Malt is available for adoption, and if you'd like to meet him, you can schedule an appointment by visiting our website at alexandriaanimals.org backslash adopt. And set up an appointment to meet him.